Hello to another part of Grind Session. This time we are redoing three more levels with the pros this time. Sign of Burnside, which I'll be doing with Willie Santos. Now, Willie, you know, he's age 24. He's a goofy kind of guy from San Diego. And uh, his hero is Steve Cab, which we know greatly of. Uh, and he tries to, you know, get you to fucking buy his Willie Santos deck and Santos shoes because he's a bit of a fucking sellout now, isn't he? Because he's a smooth as I style and all that bullshit. I'm not a fan of this guy. Uh, there's his deck that we unlocked from training. Because uh, we did play as him during the training uh, level before we began with the other two levels as the created skaters. But we're doing Burnside. And I know... I know, Pro Skater 1 also did Burnside, and this came after it, and before Pro Skater 2, so it's kind of copying uh, Pro Skater 1 with that sort of bullshit. And uh, honestly, out of all levels that it could have copied, out of all the maps that this game could have basically taken from Pro Skater 1, I don't know why it chose Burnside. And the thing is, I think this has a immense love for Burnside. Not only do we have Burnside here, but we also have a skater, Pigpen, who is apparently in love with fucking Burnside, considering all the pictures of the fucking thing. Uh, we have a, quite a few numbers of Burnside, in fact, the actual Burnside. And we have a fucking skater whose last name is Burnside. And the thing is, I fucking hate Burnside. I think it's the most bland and just worthless fucking skate park. Like, sure, it has some history to it, and I don't, I don't hate it for that. I think for a historic fucking skate park, it deserves its spotlight, but it's just so fucking bland. And not only that, it's just frustrating to really skate in. It's not a fun level. There's so little you can really do in Burnside that it's just meh. It's just a hugely meh fucking skate park, even in real life, and I just dislike it greatly. Like, it's extremely gray. There's no color to it. There's really nothing really to it when it comes to looking interesting. A lot of the spots you can skate in are just not that interesting either. And I mean, yeah, you can make these nice little drops and make some fairly big fucking airs. And also this spot here sucks in this fucking game trying to get over this. Either you uh, grind over to and get lucky, you grind to the right and you go over that way, or you jump over the fucking thing. It's just not great, is it? And I mean, yeah, there's more area in this one than there is in Pro Skater 1. But it doesn't fucking matter because whether it be in Pro Skater 1, whether it be in Grind Session, whether it be in real fucking life, I find Burnside to be just the most bland, forgettable, and honestly the worst level of both, both Pro Skater 1 and this fucking game. Like, I'm not joking. This level, Burnside, just fucking sucks. And it really isn't fun, especially since it is really difficult to really find good spots in order to get big combos. In order to really get much experience out of this fucking level. Because, like, by the end of it, by the time you actually have all this time here and you're trying to do all the contests in uh, Pro Skater 1, or just trying to get big score in this fucking level of all the time bonuses and shit of all these lines. Which, by the way, the lines are just basically gaps, and a lot of the gaps are basically basic bullshit that isn't very interesting or even good either. But yeah, it, it's just... Burnside is just fucking terrible, in my opinion. And it really is the worst level, and the, sh and the smallest level of the entire fucking game. Like, no joke. I honestly think this. And I don't want to. I want to be like every other person who's a skater and, you know, have something positive about Burnside. But much like this game, 
I have little positivity about Burnside, and I fucking hate it with a goddamn fire. Really, it's just a shit fucking skate park, in my opinion. And... I'd rather be in any of the other skate- on the end of the fucking levels, any other fucking level, in any other Tony Hawk game, in any other grind session level, just any fucking bullshit I'd rather be in than fucking Burnside. Also, yeah, if you're doing the pros, you actually get pro pictures, like this one right here, which is pretty neat, and I do like it a lot, even if sometimes they are just kind of bland. Uh... But sometimes the way they're shot and such is very interesting. Anyway, uh, with Day One Song here, who his villain is able to tend him from reaching his goals and everything like that, uh, with Decca and everything, uh, we're doing fucking Slam City Jam. Yeah, we're doing Slam Jam. And uh, his words of wisdom are honestly the best out of all these pros, in my opinion. To keep an open mind, don't rush, take your time, use creativity, and just have fun. Honestly. Words to fucking live by, in my opinion. I enjoy those words of wisdom. And I also like his designs to his deck as well. Especially this one, which we got from the tutorial. I'll be using uh, this one right there. And the thing is, with Day One, again, he is the only skater I know of out of this entire game. So that says a lot. Uh, technical lines and barrels do not count towards respect because all this is about is getting first place, getting the gold medal. And unlike Pro Skater 1, which has three contests, this only has two. And it fills the brim with a whole bunch of fucking advertising for Ford Ranger, Mountain Dew, and Vans. Oh, and a bit of G-Shock as well, in case you are into that. Now, this is one of the biggest levels of the game. And honestly, it's the most fun level of the entire game. It's actually, in my opinion, bigger and better than Fug One's Slam City Jam. Like, no joke, I honestly think... But this is a positive thing for me of this fucking game, which I just do not like at all. This Slam City Jam is better than the Fug One uh, Slam City Jam, because there's so much more to it. And I do like that. That being said, playing this game is not really worth experiencing this map. And honestly, I would rather play for this map in like a Tony Hawk game. I would rather it have been modded into a Tony Hawk game, uh, like on a Pro Skater 3 or whatever. And I skate around in it at, with the uh, Pro Skater controls. Because the controls in this game really are just fucking god awful. The grinding controls suck. The way the whole flips and the grabs work with the delays they have and shit sucks. The whole manual thing is a waste of time and absolutely useless. The grinds are just awkward, even though I do not mind the whole perpendicular bullshit and sideways stuff. I don't mind that, and I think that works fairly well in its own right. But, just so much about the way this game plays and feels is fucking god-awful. But I've already talked about that in the last part. I'm not going to repeat myself. But it really is a terrible controlling fucking game. And I do not get the praise for its control scheme. For how it plays. By the way, you don't have to get the technical lines in the barrels. I will go back after this whole, like, thorough bashing on these CPU's uh, scores and shit uh, in order to get every single line in barrel. Might as well. I'll be doing it the other contests as well, which is no different. Uh, but I do want to show off uh, the majority of the level at the very least. Let you know like what you've got in this level. Because you've got a lot. You've got this area here, which leads into this big bowl area, which I've actually do not like much due to the fact that trying to get many scores here is a pain in the ass and uh, when you do the photo shoot here it's even worse uh, but I actually like the open area that you start in as well and I really do like this uh, map a lot more than underground uh, by a fucking fair bit and yeah 
It's straight vert and then big score, the big combo. Which I don't mind. I don't mind how this works. It has been done uh, later on uh, in any other, every other game, really, uh, with Tony Hawk and such. By a lot, in fact. And uh, honestly, I don't mind this. I don't like vert. I don't like being stuck in one spot, going back and forth on one ramp. But I, I, I can deal with this. I prefer street a lot more. I find the street contest to be more fun. That's just me. I guess I'm more of a street guy than a vert guy. <laughs> Go figure. Also, I'm taking for the uh, tricks right now. And the thing is, any trick that's blinking green is the ones you've just unlocked from doing the whole selecting things and shit. And the pros do have their own specials. Only one, though. And, of course... We have the Jer Air, his actual fucking special. He is known, like, he really is known for that special move, the Jer Air. It is his thing. Much like Tony of the 900 and such, it, it's his thing. And I don't mind that. A lot of the skaters here, like, most of them don't really have that. A lot of them are just kind of generic in a way. Well, that one's actually fairly unique and interesting to look at. Anyway, I'm obviously kicking ass, and uh, I would have gotten 100,000 at the end of this whole thing with the best trick thing. I could have just done like, a kickflip and that's it. Uh, but when I went to go and do the combo, unfortunately, I, uh, I bailed. And the reason I bailed is because of this thing, this little thing called magnets. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got pulled in. For no fucking reason. I have no idea why that happened. It just did. And, yeah. That's it. That, that... I gave it praise. I gave this praise. And yet I get fucked like that. And also we've unlocked everything. Every single level is now open to us. Yeah, I've gone through halfway of the game, and now I've already got everything unlocked and ready to go. It's nothing new, really, but still. And yeah, doing the photo shoot now, which is extremely easy here, because all I have to do is use the grind here. Except, we have it in this bowl. And in order to actually get this bitch, I have to jump left every time. Because he does not actually stay on the grind. He jumps away from it every time like that. It's annoying. They don't stick to the grind, but whatever. And yeah, there's a picture of day one doing a manual. I mean, I don't mind this. I think the way it's done, the way it's, like, edited, is very interesting. I do like it. It's... There are some photos where I like the design they've gone for. Not, not just what they're doing in the pictures, because a lot of it is just, like, generic one-trick bullshit. Uh, but the way it's edited... Including the shit where it's the fucking thing where there's like a time frame sort of frame by frame thing of the skater and his movement throughout the whole thing. Where you see like multiple of him doing like one trick. Like I like that shit. I, I honestly find it to be very interesting and well done stuff. And in this, no different. There are pictures like that where I find the like the design direction, the art direction of these photos to be very fucking good and interesting, and I do enjoy them a lot. Of course, there are the generic ones, but still. And I will go through them uh, basically near the end of this Let's Play. But right now, I am going to just show you pretty much all the lines and barrels of Slam City Jam. And again, they are essentially gaps, these lines. I'm not going to name them off. You can read them yourself. But, yeah, it's just... When it comes to gaps, a lot of them are interesting in both their name and how you do them. Yeah, sure, there's some really basic bitch ones that just have a funny name, but that's fine. The basic bitch ones having a funny name that fits it well. I, I don't mind that much. This game, however, has lines which I honestly don't think 
are even gaps. I don't think the way they're done works. Like back in Burnside where I had to jump off a ramp uh, going forward and then land in the middle of this bowl area to get that one fucking gap outside of Burnside. And I don't consider that a fucking gap. I don't even know why it is considered a gap. It just does not feel or even act like a gap to me. It does not feel like a line to me. A lot of these lines just don't make sense. And uh, the way they're done, really. Some of these lines just don't make any fucking sense. And I don't like it by a lot. But I, I can't do much about it because, uh, unfortunately, Shabba Games... I don't know what they were doing with this game, but the, the direction they went with, with a lot of this shit, I, I'm just confused with. I don't get it. This game came out after Thrasher and Pro Skater 1, and so much is done wrong compared to those two games. And here comes Atlanta, which I'm going to do in this Kara Beth Burnside. I could have done her in Burnside, but whatever, I'm doing it by order. And uh, she doesn't have much. I mean, she's got Dwayne Peters as a hero, and she is sponsored by Powell and Vans and Volcom, which I don't mind. That's pretty. That's a pretty fucking impressive feat, honestly, to be with uh, Vans at the time. Uh, but yeah, she doesn't say much. And her advice is to get off the couch, go skate with positive and coaching people. Basically, she's reiterating a lot of the uh, shit that you know with skating games you get at the end of the game. Also, gay twists. Nice. And the thing is, I don't mind her personality in a way, and uh, really the shit that she has said in that second screen. Uh, she, has, she, has, she has really has a personality in this that I do like. And I do not mind there being a female skater in these games. It's just one problem. And you don't see it in this because I've already gotten a lot of the tricks I needed, but the problem is... This chick did not know a lot of the basic fucking tricks with this game. A lot of the basic tricks that every other skater has, you have to unlock with her. Mainly the grinds, which the grind tricks are by far the most important tricks in the game. Might I also add, might I also fucking add, that her design is god awful. I don't know what was going on. I mean, yeah, you can see the face and shit better than you could in Pro Skater 1, but the design of the models themselves, especially of her, are just ugly compared to Pro Skater 1. And I don't get it. I don't know why. It shouldn't be hard to look better than Pro Skater 1 in terms of the model designs, but for some fucking reason, the I just don't get it. I don't get how you can fuck up more than Pro Skater 1 in the skater design. But this looks fucking ugly. And I, d I just do not like playing as Burnside Otto. She is the hardest skater to play as in the entire game. And if this was back then, this would be considered sexist and the feminists would be having a fucking like field day shitting on this fucking game and on Shabba and just getting aggressively pissed off. Back then it wasn't a thing though. But yeah, this was definitely not a great female skater for this game because unfortunately the way they portrayed her really isn't great and I do not like playing as her, like period. Like she is just frustrating and not fun to play as. And as for Atlanta, you saw that big jump I did from building to building? Yeah, I honestly think that is the hardest fucking, like, one of the hardest lines in the entire fucking game. Like, no joke. I, I honestly dislike that fucking line so much. Because getting that jump is a pain in the fucking ass. And also, this line makes no fucking sense. I'm not doing a fucking line in one combo here. I'm doing a fucking mess. So who the man just doesn't make much sense in the way it's done. Also, this gap just sucks. Assume nothing. That was nothing. Yeah, there are a few lines that are just basically that. Nothing. They're just not that interesting. I mean, yeah. 
Pro Skater 1 did not have, you know, some, you know, interesting gap cider. You know what the difference was between Pro Skater 1 and this game when it came to gaps, though, or lines? Pro Skater 1, there was no checkpoint. There was no checklist. And they weren't important compared to later on. This game, you have to do these, these 10 fucking lines, these gaps, in order to homicide the fucking game. And they're not good. Pro Skater 1, like, even that didn't have a lot of good gaps either. But you know what? Even though I didn't get all of them, because they weren't required, and quite honestly, I really don't want to. The gaps in Pro Skater 1 are better than the fucking lines in this game. They're a lot more interesting. They're a lot more challenging. And they're just a lot more fun to fucking deal with. And also, you have to find them. In this, they're laid out for you. I mean, yeah, I've been using a walkthrough to find a lot of the gaps. Like, that's nothing new, but... Still, I do find the search for the gaps to be a lot more fun than just knowing where they are, uh, and how they're done, in fact, and how to do them and all this shit. We have a fucking guide for that. But whatever. That's it for this part, and, uh... Next time, by the way, ass. Next time, uh, we're going to be doing the last three levels, the last two levels, and a contest, which is PlayStation Park London, Detroit, and Huntington. And I'll be seeing you all next time for that bullshit of the last three pros. Thanks for watching. See you then.